With its 13,667 islands, the Republic of Indonesia makes up the world's largest archipelago. Of the numerous islands, Bali is the most well known. Part of the string of islands known as the Sande Islands, Bali has inspired many an adventurer with its rich culture and its lively population. Located near the equator, Bali's mountain range was formed through volcanic activity. The small island is carpeted with lush green vegetation and terraced rice paddies, which provide food for its two and a half million inhabitants. The first Westerner to ever set foot on the island was the famous explorer Marco Polo. Upon his return to Italy, Marco Polo referred to the island in his book about the marvels of the world. Off what were once some of the most frequently traveled sea routes, Bali was left untouched by the ships which passed further out to sea until the spice trade became a lucrative business. It was in 1597 that the Dutch navigator Van Houtman truly discovered Bali and her people. The Dutchman would leave the island shores, his ships hold full of exotic produce and goods. The Dutch got along so well with the island's king and inhabitants that they postponed their departure several times. Finally, half the crew decided to return to Europe to tell others of this little paradise east of Java, where the natives lived in peaceful artistic communities. It was a place, they would say, of amazing beauty, where the population respected the traditions which had come from the eternal land of India. These natives seemed to know that the infinity of life came from the infinity of time, and that the life which they so dearly cherished was but a beginning, and that death was the glowing door which awaited everyone. Bali is the only Hindu island left in the archipelago since the fall of the Indian empires in this area in the 16th century. Bali plays the same role as preserver of Hinduism that Tibet plays for Buddhist India. The classic Hindu arts, rites and literature remain unchanged here, whereas many of the other islands have given way to strong Islamic influence. The local religion known as Hindu Bali is a combination of animist, Hindu, and Buddhist beliefs. In Bali, the gods which came from India are not alone. Daily offerings are also made to volcanoes, river spirits, homes, and to the all-important ancestors. There are some 20,000 temples here, one for every 100 inhabitants. Every temple from the simplest to the most ornate, has its own priest or guardian. The Besaki, the mother temple, is the island's oldest sanctuary. Perched some 900 meters up on the side of Gunung Agung, the famous volcano, it's the temple where the most important celebrations are held. One of the most striking aspects of the Balinese landscape are the terraced rice paddies, which thrive in the fertile volcanic soil. At dawn, the men head towards the rice paddies, followed by ducks, which are taken along to nibble among the uncut rice. The ducks provide an important service by decreasing the insect population. Each rice paddy, or sawa, is irrigated, and the various terraces are flooded through black earth ditches which stand out against the patchwork of lush green fields. Each owner who farms one or more sawas must belong to an irrigation cooperative, which controls the distribution of water to its members. The cooperative is unique in that it's organized as a totally autonomous entity, one which is completely separate from the local political party. The mountain range in the north of the island stands as a barrier to passing rain-laden clouds, provoking abundant rainfall in the area. Bali doesn't produce any surplus rice, 